$39 later and I filled my couch. Stay tuned for the haul video. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, before we go in, I wanted to let you guys know, um, if you like these type of videos right now, please go subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that bell button, that way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. And I'm really, really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers because as soon as I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this very rare bullseye pattern Pyrex dish for free as a gift from me to you. So as soon, and I'm gonna pay for shipping too. So as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, guys, I will be giving away this dish for free. So go subscribe. Please share my channel with all your friends. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from yesterday's picking video you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins. I only ended up spending $39 on all this stuff sitting next to me, which is crazy because I got quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to get right into the haul. Like I said, only spent $39. So the first thing that I picked up was these amazing Tupperware glasses. They are in excellent condition. Really, really nice shape. I love the colors. And if these don't sell in a live sale, then I'll just end up keeping them because we always could use glasses, but they're Tupperware. These are amazing, and the colors are awesome. Love them. Very, like, 70s chic. And then I picked up this for us. We are going to keep this. Me and Ross love these Where's Waldo books. Um, and this one we do not have. So we, I think we have... All of them, oh no, there's six of them posted in here. And I think we only have two actually over there. I think we have the yellow one and the blue one. So we need the red one still, cause I don't think that one's over there. And then where's Waldo in Hollywood? And then where's Waldo the Great Picture Hunt? So awesome. Yes, we're gonna keep this for ourselves. And then I did pick up another couple like magazine books i i would call these coffee table books is what i would call them because they're like really thick but they're both people and they're that like books you know not just the magazines that come out once once a month they're the actual books but people celebrate the 70s awesome love the 70s it's got some really 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 fun pictures in there and just fun articles and different things. And there's a lot. There is a lot, lot. Look at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. So many different, different movie stars in there. So that is awesome. Celebrities. And musicians, I guess. And then the other one is this one, Gone Too Soon. It's got some awesome celebrities in there as well and really neat pictures and like all different like sports stars, celebrities, musicians, you know, just all kinds of different, different articles in there. So I thought that was cool. I like those. I might look at them and then sell them. And then I love picking up vintage toys, especially when they're in really good condition, such as this. This is a Mattel 19, I think it's a 64, or no, I think it says 84. I can't, and I don't have my flashlight. Where's my magnifying glass? It's up there. 
I don't know. I think it's from the 80s, maybe. 1987, I don't know. But it's in really, really, really good condition. Look at the cute, kitschy pictures on there. Aren't they adorable? And it works. Isn't that awesome? I love this. Most of the time when you find those, they do not work anymore and a lot of the stickers are torn off. That one is in amazing condition. So, super excited to pick that up. Then I picked up this and I forgot to... I was, I like the Smurfs. I wasn't going to get it, but it barely weighs anything. It is the book with the record. It still has its original record in really good condition. So, why not pick it up, right? It barely weighs anything. And it's Smurfs. Cute. If you collect that kind of stuff, you know, like vintage toys and stuff, that would look good sitting in a display. Just sitting with some toys in front of it. Just my opinion. <laughs> and then I picked up this. Now, this was a drawer, I believe, and somebody turned it into a Littles. It's got the wall hanging on the back. You can put hang your miniatures on there. It's like a miniature shelf for miniatures. I like it how it has the brass detail on the corners. It's so cute. And if you like miniatures, this will be perfect. And then I did end up picking up this girl. Now I did, some of you may have already seen her. I posted her on the YouTube because I didn't know if, because with it being a little bit bigger and almost Christmas time, I didn't know if I should pick her up, but she's so stinking cute. And I'm so glad I did. She's like new in her box. Um, she's not attached anymore, but I did take, she, you know, she don't have her ties anymore, um, so she will come right out of the box. So I took my screwdriver at the bins, and I opened up the battery compartment, and it's in amazing condition. It's like new. I don't think it was ever used, but I am still going to put batteries in her and test her out and make sure she works. But she is so stinking adorable, right? So cute. I love her. Um, I don't know if there is a date on her or not. Oh, I don't know, but she's cute. So she came home and hopefully somebody will like to adopt her. <laughs> and then I found this. Now, I thought this was really, really cool. This is a vintage microphone. Isn't that neat? I thought this would be neat just to display, you know, even if it doesn't work. It has some wear right there. Um, but it's, I like the lines on it. I think it's so cool. And it's just a microphone, a really neat piece. So out of, finding something out of the Goodwill bins like this excites me because this is just something that you don't see regularly and rescuing it from the trash is awesome. So I picked up that microphone and then I found this really neat vase. It's got a frog on it. Isn't that cool? That silver vase. Very, very pretty and like modern chic kind of, but it's vintage. It is made in India. It still has its vintage sticker on there. So I think it is probably from like maybe the 80s or I don't know. Early 90s maybe. You guys can let me know what you think. But I thought it was a neat metal vase. And then I picked up this. Is that so much fun? It's a lobster, but it's a magnet. It's a magnet. I think it's stinking cute and adorable and fun. And it just moves. And it says Union Oyster House. 
So I don't know if that's a restaurant or something, but because I don't eat seafood, but I just thought that was so cool and neat and fun. And I thought somebody might love it like me. And then I found these really, really awesome vintage salt and pepper shaker set. It's metal. Isn't that cool? That one still has its original cork stopper, but this one no longer does. It doesn't have a stopper anymore, but that's where the salt and pepper comes out is the top of the head. And I thought that was neat. Um, it is marked, but of course I'm not, I can't read what it says, but it's marked two different places. It's marked right there and then it's marked right there. So I'm gonna have to get the magnifying glass and see, but I just thought that was really cool. And then I found this piece. Now, oh, let me see if I can get this back in here. Hold on. The little dowel came out and it's just a dowel. So it's it just goes in there. Isn't that so cute and adorable? Absolutely love it. Look at the decal on it. So cute. Come and get it. And then you just ring the bell. I love it. I think this would be so cute hanging up in someone's someone's house somewhere. It's just so kitschy and stinking cute and adorable. Come and get it. <laughs> that was one of my favorite things that I picked up. I just thought that was so cool. And then you seen me pick up this guy. He is so cool. He is marked on the inside of his ribs. Um, Crazy Bones by Seasons. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on him. But look, see, he's easy for shipping. Like he folds up. His legs fold up. And then look how big he is. He is big. And he's not one of those cheap plastic ones from Walmart, you know. He is all screwed together. He's all completely screwed together. Do you see that? So that is pretty cool. I thought that was neat. And he's like a nice, sturdy, thick plastic. He is in excellent condition. I love him. I think he's so cool. And he's probably a little over three feet tall, I would say. He's probably a little over three feet tall, but when you go to ship him, he just folds right up, which is nice. See? Isn't that cool? <laughs> I thought that was a neat find. And then I found this which is awesome that it was not broken in the bins, but it was in the new bins. So it probably would have ended up broke, getting broken if nobody else would have took it. Isn't that awesome? Somebody put a string on it to hang it, but it's a plastic popcorn decoration i love these i just think they're so kitschy and fun and yes it barely weighs anything so it's a no-brainer picking this up from the bins and then i did pick end up picking up this little stinking cute candle holder in its box because she's too cute to leave behind. She was missing her lid, her top, but that's okay. I don't really care. She's so cute. It is a candle. She has been burnt before. So I thought this would make a cute little giveaway because I didn't want to leave it behind. She's cute. And then in the video, I don't know if you've seen 
Um, or if you noticed, I did have like a Jack Skelton pumpkin in there, but the pumpkin, it was in rough shape. Um, so I just ended up taking the light kit and leaving the pumpkin behind. This, it, it does have a red light bulb in there, so I could always use these, especially if you're selling blow molds and stuff like that. And I found a new in-box home interior gifts. It is the cute vintage brass butterfly set. See, they're still all in their package. Never been out of the package. And then there's the big one. So I just thought that was a lot of fun and really cool that they were still new in the package. And people like to decorate um, on their gallery walls with they have little spaces to fill with these little brass butterflies. They make good fillers. And then I found this box like this in the bins. It was taped up and I'm like, hmm, it barely weighs anything. I wonder if there's anything in it. I shook it I'm like it sounds empty, but I opened it up and it's got these really, really pretty birds in there really pretty birds see aren't they gorgeous and they're clippies I just think they're so cute so there's three of those in there in that box Ooh. And then I picked up this. Now, I don't pick up these a lot, but I thought this one was really neat in particular. Now, this is a like a miniature Lane Cedar chest. Um, I, but I picked this one up because, look, it still has its key. It still has its original key to lock it. And see, it's a Lane Cedar chest. I thought that was cool that it still had its original key. So really neat find right there. I did pick up this. I don't know why somebody would give this away for Valentine's Day, but they did. Happy Valentine's Day, dear Morning Star family. Love and prayers. Sandy Gray, I think is what that says. I don't know, but Look, it is a gumdrop tree. Still brand new in its package. In its plastic. Amazing, right? So cool. Absolutely love it. I love the gumdrop tree. Lots of fun. Not only... Okay, so really quickly, not only can you stick gumdrops on there, you can stick like little cheese cubes or any basically snacky or dirt food that you want or an appetizer food. But you can also at Christmas time put this out and hang little plastic ornaments on there. Little or little glass ones. I think that would be so cool. I think that's such a good idea. And then I picked up this. Now, if you watch the video, you heard me say that I have a few spaces to fill on my Christmas tree. So I was looking for some cute ornaments and this barely weighs anything at all. So, oh, I'm going to keep him and he is going to stay in my ornaments collection family. Cause he's stinking cute. Now this, I don't know what this is. So you guys can let me know in the comments below. It looks like a juicer to me is what it looks like. But usually juicers are like this and you would stick it, you know, stick your fruit that way. But this one has a rubber handle and it's like plastic lucite. So I just thought that was a cool, neat piece that barely weighed anything. And you guys can let me know in the comments below what if it's a juicer, am I right? And 
Then I found my son, Trenton. My oldest son is a huge Chicago Bears fan. Huge, huge Chicago Bears fan. So I found him this gigantic. Well, it's not huge, huge, but it's big. It's the nice one with the rivets. A really nice Chicago Bears flag. Isn't that cool? No rips or tears. Really good condition. And it's the nice, nice heavy duty one. So I thought that flag was a neat. And I thought he would like it. So if you're watching this, Tritton, there you go. That's I picked that up for you, bud. Then I found this, and this still has its tag. I don't know what it is. Karma Living Handcrafted in India on the farm tea towel. See, it still has its tag. It's a tea towel. And it's stinking cute and adorable. I absolutely love it. It's got beautiful, beautiful, nice detail. It's brand new. Somebody like embroidered that on there. That's like all stitched and embroidered. As you can see, look at the beautiful colors and look at the lining on the bottom. Isn't that cool? And it still has its brand new tag. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, but I just thought that was really kitschy looking and fun and I like the colors. And then I did find two vintage thermoses, you guys. I found two of them, which is craziness. Now I know these aren't huge money makers, but again, I didn't want to leave. These are something that I didn't want to leave behind. Um, they were in the new bins. They were in bins that people had already looked through. So I didn't want them to end up in the trash. They, I was able to find this lid. I wasn't. It wasn't on it at first. This one was. This one was on it. So, yeah, they're just really, really fun. Good condition, vintage thermoses. Like, a lot of the times when you find these, their paint will be all scratched and worn away. These are not. This one's from 1979. It says 1979 on there. And then this one... The G.I. Joe is from 1988. 1988. G.I. Joe. How fun. And again, good condition. So, not huge man makers, but really fun vintage items. Especially when you find them in the bins. And then I found a Oh, first, before I get to the scarves, I found this smock. You've seen this, me pick up this smock. It's so much fun. It's like a woman's vest. You know, like you would wear if you're working at like a grocery store or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. It's like a vest. It's so cool. I love it. I love the colors. I don't see a tag on it anywhere. So I don't know the maker, but look at the buttons. <laughs> I like it. Fun, fun pattern. Now the vintage scarves. I was able to find a bunch of vintage scarves, which is crazy because I haven't been able to find any in a while at the bins, and I did find some. Look at these patterns. Aren't they pretty? Isn't that neat? It does have a little bit of wear. You know, some of them have a little bit of wear, but they're vintage, so. And they don't barely weigh anything at all. I barely paid anything for them. This one I don't think is as old because it has a made in China tag, but again, I didn't want to leave it behind. I'll just include it in the lot. Cute, right? Look at the colors on that. Vintage. <laughs> Love it. 
Same with this one. Look at the colors on that. So much fun. So much fun. This one has a tag. Eh, I don't know if it's as old, but super cool. This one's vintage. This one's got its tag. Bar and Beards. I think that's what that says. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but pretty. They're like silky and fun. I love, love, love this one. This is so pretty. This one's not old. It's got its tag, but I love the colors and it's cool. So neat. Then I picked up this one. This one has its tag right there. Pretty. And that was the last one. So a whole handful of scarves. You know, the next time I go, I might pick up, see if I can find some more. I'm actually gonna try to go again tomorrow. But <laughs> see if I can find some more scarves. And then you guys, oh my gosh, I was able to find Vintage Christmas. I could not believe it. I was super excited when I found the Vintage Christmas. So you've seen me pick up all the bulbs, but before we get to the bulbs, I'll show you the other things that you did not see me pick up. I was able to find this little pixie. Unfortunately, it's missing its felt eyeballs. I had to see if my mom or so, if maybe somebody else can just replace them and I'll just sell it like this how it is um i am gonna sell it though with another one see the vintage pixie i found another vintage pixie so i'll probably put it with it now somebody tied a, a ribbon around it i don't know why let me get this off here somebody tied yarn around it i'm taking the yarn off because it's doesn't match. Okay, there we go. So cute, right? Out of the bins. Love it. So I need somebody to fix, put eyes like that, like that on this one. Oh, it's like a hair on there or something. So cute. So I'll probably sell these together. And then... All the vintage shiny brights, gorgeous, fun, fun. I literally jumped inside the Goodwill bins to get this one. Now, unfortunately, this was the only one I was able to find. It needs a little bit of cleaning. Well, I don't even know if you can clean that. I think that's just from age, age spots. But it is glass. It's so, so pretty. I love the bottom, how it's pointed like that. And I jumped in the bins for the shiny bright. Because <laughs> I'm sure sometimes when stuff's in the back, I can't reach it. And then there's some beautiful stripey ones. There's another stripey one. And then a bunch of the bells, all different colors of the bells. See, there's like pink, stripe, and blue, and yellow. So there's multiple of these three colors. I was so, so, so surprised that, okay, so these were not in the box. They were just laying all over in the bins, not broken not shattered not broken it's like a sign that i was supposed to go that day and rescue these beautiful ornaments out of the goodwill bins super happy about that and then i found this vintage box of shiny brides it's in a baggie let me take it out here So you can get a better look-see. 
No, the box isn't in the best shape and it's missing two ornaments. But again, you know, I didn't want to leave it behind. Shiny brights. I did not want to leave these behind. So fun, fun, fun. It's not very often you find shiny brights in the Goodwill bins. Multiple like that, not broken. And then I was able to find this vintage tablecloth. Well, actually, this is not vintage. It's made to look vintage. It's got a date from 2021, so it's from last year. So it's not vintage. It's just made to look vintage. But what's neat about this is it's a tablecloth or it says it's a really good photo backdrop. So cool. Brand new. And then I found this vintage ornament. We'll take him out of the baggie real quick and look at him. Stinking cute with the sequins on there. And that's the back of him. <laughs> cool, cool. I love vintage Christmas. It makes me happy. And then I was able to find three of these. Now these are new because they're still, two of them are still in their plastic. So I'll just leave it. No, because they're all three different. So I'm just going to take them out of their plastic. And I'm going to sell these as a lot in a live sale. And there's three of them and they're all three different. So there's this white one white glittery one and look they work they light up how pretty would that be hanging on your christmas tree so there's that one there's a, a silver one and then a gold one aren't they pretty little plastic churches i just think they're gorgeous so of course I'm just gonna pick them up. And they're all three different, which I thought was really neat. And then I found this beautiful, beautiful ornament. It is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. It's all glass. This is all glass. Look at its beak and everything. Everything is beautiful. It's beautiful feather tail. Isn't that just the most gorgeous ornament ever? I think it's so pretty. And it's not broken at all. It's fabulous. Very pretty. But I think I had I had said I was going to keep some of the ornaments, but I'm going to sell those in the churches. The only one that I'm going to keep so far is the purple elephant. I don't know if... Oh, I did get one more to keep, I think. And then I found these. Now, I'm going to have to do some research on these. Because I don't know what these are. They are stamped. They're taped shut here. Let me see if I can... Here we go. They are stamped. They're little rubber animals. And they're stamped 1967. Um, D-I-E... N E R. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that where they're stamped. I don't know if that'll come in or not, but they're little rubber animals. There's a whole bunch of them, a whole entire bag full. And actually, I think they're all cows. Now that I'm looking at it, I didn't even notice, but they're all different colored cows. Can you see, maybe you can see that one a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on these. They're rubber stamped 1967. So they have to be something, right? And then I thought this would be so cute to stick in like a um, 
mystery box or gift basket or something like that. It doesn't weigh hardly anything at all, and it's so kitschy and fun. Antique person. Isn't that fun and kitschy and just, it's from 1993. 1993. I thought it was cute. And then I thought this was fun. These are, people like to decorate with this, like that like primitive stuff. And it's just an old little broom and you could just hang it on your wall or in your mud room or somewhere in your laundry room and fill a space on your wall and make it look neat. And we got a couple more sacks left. <laughs> I told you I got quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> yep. And then you guys seen I found a whole bag of these owls. These are the target owls. They say the names of the owl. Oh, come on. <laughs> this one's Sunflower. Her name is Sunflower. And then it says the date on the back of it, 2018. But there's a whole bunch of these. So stinking cute, and they're all different. Now, I know some of these target birds can bring in quite a pretty penny. Some of them. Like the rarer ones. These ones, I don't know how I'm going to sell these. I was originally going to list them in a lot. But if I sell them in a live sale, maybe I'll do them as choice. Maybe I'll just do them as choice. Because they're all different, and they're all cool. They're really neat. This one's from 2017. His name is Rusty. What's her name? She's from 2018. And her name is... Joy? What is that? Jolly? Jolly. And then the last one. Oh, love it. 2018. Amy. Cute. So I thought those were a lot of fun. Then I found these grapes. This is just a little. See the size of my hand. Just a little set of these plastic lucite grapes. I found a briar, which is crazy. You never find briars in the Goodwill bins ever, ever, ever. Well, at least I don't anyways. And as you can see, it is stamped briar right there. Awesome, awesome find. Barely weighs anything and should resell for pretty decent money. I know briars are collectible, so. And then I was able to find a Jim Shore. I did find a Jim Shore piece. Fun, fun, fun. This one's from 2003. Just a little sleeping girl. Joy to the world. That's what it's called. I love it. I think I've had that one before, too. I found a beautiful, beautiful glass egg. This one does have its sticker on the bottom. Um, for collectors around the world, Heirloom Collectibles Dynasty Gallery. Dynasty. Love it. I have not had a glass paperweight for a long time. I haven't sold one in a long time, so that's pretty cool. And then you seen me pick up this, and then let my dumb, dumb butt 
Maybe I'll be able to find a little bird in the bins tomorrow. I didn't even notice until I was editing the video that I accidentally tipped out the bird and it fell in the box. So yeah, that kind of stinks, but it isn't that cute. It's a little bird cage. I don't know how old it is. It is wood though. The bottom is wood. It's neat. I just thought that was a neat decorative piece. And then I picked up this glass dragon. It is an art glass piece. Pretty neat. I like the red color. No chips or cracks, no broken areas. Pretty cool. And then I thought this was really pretty. This would be pretty if you craft. Um, it is a pipe cleaner garland. And I like the tan and the red pom-pom balls on it. I just think it's neat. Um, here, let me untwist it for you a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Oh, wait. Did I do the wrong one? I don't know. You get the gist. It's really cute. And then, I don't know what this is. I have no idea. But I thought for Christmas time, this would be really cute to sit down and then put one of your tree toppers on top of it. You Or you could craft with it, do something with it. I have no idea. I don't know what it is. I just thought it was really cool. So if you know what this is, let me know below. No, there's no hole in it. It's solid. So I don't know, because you know it could be a horn, but it's not a horn because you can't blow through it. Because there's no hole. And then this was the order, other ornament I picked up for my tree. Very pretty glass. And I just thought that would make a pretty space filler on my Christmas tree. So it doesn't weigh a lot. And I picked up this. Now, I don't know if this works. I just picked it up like how it is. It looks to be in brand new condition. I don't know if it was ever used. Where's the battery compartment at? Well, that's not the battery compartment. That's the film compartment, I think. I don't know. It's really, really nice. I know these aren't cheap in the store. So, yeah, with a little bit of cleaning, cleaning up, this will be a fun find. This would make a good Christmas present for someone. And then I did find the Andrea by Sadik bunny. I love all the neat detail on there with the fruit and the butterflies. And look at the cute little bunny face. Really, really good condition. No chips or cracks. And has its original sticker on the bottom. So I thought that was a cute piece. I found some tape. Of course, I'm going to pick this up if I find this in the Goodwill bins. Doesn't even weigh a quarter of a pound. So, yeah, tape is not cheap in the store. And I could always use packing supplies. So I picked that up. And then the last thing that I picked up was this beautiful wood carved box. So pretty. Oh, I stuck a thing in there. I stuck a little clown head in there. It's a little puzzle. The eyes are balls. You probably can't see it, but you try to get the little balls in the eyeballs. Um, anyways, I picked that up to stick in my gumball machine because I have a gumball machine full of different random collector's pieces like game pieces and different fun things so that's going to go in there but anyway beautiful wood carved box absolutely love it shuts very nicely beautiful detail and it's just a nice gorgeous wood piece so I picked that up 
And that was it, guys. That is my haul. I know it was a long one. I told you I got quite a bit of stuff. Like I said, I only spent $39 on all this stuff, so not too bad at all. Um, so as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. Um, every once in a while, I'll list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, and those links will also be in the description below as well. But most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, but lately, I've been having a lot of random pop-up live sales. So it's very important to hit that bell button right now. Go subscribe. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. And all this stuff that you've seen me pick up today will be available in tomorrow night's live sale. I am going to have, or not tomorrow night, I guess it would be Thursday, because tomorrow's Wednesday. So Thursday night, I am going to have a pop-up live sale at 5 p.m. Central Time. Um, so make sure, like I said, hit that bell button, that way you get notified when I go live, so you don't forget. And then you can see all this fun stuff for sale. So as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.